Welcome back. I'm Sharice and you're watching Hashtag Sharice's World Hugs and Kisses. Today we're going to be doing a mukbang at Danuba restaurant with my family. I'm so excited because I haven't been there for a long time. I've, you know, we normally usually go there a, long, a lot. Um, but lately been, when we do order Chinese food, we usually get like Panda just because it's faster. Uh, so today I had Joseph Bravo from the, the Dainuba High School recommended to me that I should do a mukbang at Dainuba restaurant. So this is for you, Joseph. I hope you like it. Here we go. And is this, and you guys can see we're wearing matching shirts. Friends. Friends. Yay. Huh? My muscles or my shirt? No, your shirt. We're wearing... Are you sure? Central perk. Most people want to see my muscles, not my shirt. Say what? <laughs> Who? People. Huh. People with clipboards. Friends at home. You guys, so today I freaking found a band that I fell in love with. So I had a coworker today. Oh, the whole subject came up because we're going to see... Cole! Corn on Sunday, and of course, I'm gonna be vlogging that, so stay tuned. However, so the topic came about when I was talking about the concert, and one of my coworkers was like, Oh, yeah, alternative music, and people that we went to high school with, and then they're like, Yeah, there's this um, band um, from people we went to high school with, you know, uh, the band called Maca Macando, Macando, I think, Macando, yeah, Macando. And I was like, what? No, I never heard of it. So I started listening to it and oh my gosh, I freaking loved all the music. So I instantly subscribed to their YouTube videos. I, um, the channel. yeah, they have a, a Facebook page, um, at Macondo Music, I think. And then, and then they play at the Cellar Door in Visalia. So if you're into alternative music, I think they play on Saturdays. Fridays, I'm not, I kind of like skim through, so I don't really know. I'll, um, find out more but yeah so yeah they have oh, my yeah. hair so, <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm gonna be talking about them too soon and then um so yeah that was like my excitement today about music Macau. let's talk about this restaurant we're going to Dainuba restaurant in Dainuba it's literally called Dainuba Restaurant. Yes, but it's a Chinese <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, but you know what I mean? And it only serves Chinese food. However, everybody gets chicken. Do you order chicken there? What do you order normally? Uh, uh, from there, so, it's normally like orange chicken or uh, what's that beef? The, what do you call it? The, uh, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour pork. Chow mein. I think I get like the dinner to eat. It's been a while since so I forgot like the dinners and stuff, but it's restaurant. It's been... <laughs> Since I was a little girl, I used to eat here since I was a little girl. They have the same pictures up. It's not a big restaurant, it's really small, but as you guys can see, it's like your typical traditional mom and pop restaurant. And like, I don't know what it is, but like, Mom and pop restaurants just feel like so cozy. You know, it just feels like, you know, it's very simple, but at the same time, it makes you feel comfortable. And they sell those lollipops there. Let me see, mommy. Right here. So register. There goes a phone call. Lots of business here at this restaurant. So, we're here with Tim, the owner of Dinuba Restaurant. And can you tell me, Tim, how long has your restaurant been running? Uh, this, did you tell, uh, like, uh, since the beginning, from my great uncle, probably around 45 to 50 years ago. Oh my gosh, but that's around, like, 15 years ago, I took over from my uncle. Wow. So generations and generations and generations. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And how do you feel being the new owner? Well, just I treat like just a job. Yes. You know, just for living. So. Yes. Does your whole family work here? 
Yeah, my whole family works here. Your whole family? Oh, that is so awesome. And we just want to let you know that your restaurant is very well spoken of. And the community loves your food here. Right. And I was interested in coming here and ordering food. And we're going to um, review it at home. And we've always loved your food here. And we want to thank you for keeping this business up and running. No problem. But thank don't uh, over promote it because we're too busy already. So I don't want to get too busy. <laughs> <laughs> that's true right. that's okay. true thank you everybody this is a menu so basically it's very simple pork and chicken on separate sides beef and shrimp here are the prices for small or large small or large I'm just you know assuming the plates no small and large plates and a number one, what are you getting? Probably dinner D. Dinner D. What is dinner D? Pork chow mein, fried shrimp, and sweet and sour pork. That sounds awesome. I'll do something different then. Um, so everybody gets the chicken here, the fried chicken. So I think I'm going to get fried chicken. Dinner E? No. Um, yeah, dinner E. Pork chow mein, fried chicken, fried rice. Is it the fried chicken? Yeah, dinner E, fried chicken. Well, dinner G is pork chow mein and fried chicken. Sweet and sour pork? Yes, dinner G. I think I'll get dinner G because it has, I think, a lot of everything. Dinner G? Dinner G. <laughs> I can't talk today. Dinner G. There's also. I know. And then um, they have sides. This is the back of the menu. So we have sweet and sour, egg rolls, chow mein, rice, soup and salad, American dishes, which are cheeseburgers, french fries, and hamburgers. Side dishes, wonton soup and noodle soup, and their drinks. Do they have a kid's menu? I don't see one. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna have to flip it. Okay. No? So, I don't see a kid's menu, but we didn't ask for one. They just gave us this. So, probably whatever is on here, they could do a kid's size, maybe? Go ahead. Hi, we're, my name is Elizabeth Sahara, and I'm here having dinner with my family. Um, the food was actually pretty good. So, we had um, chow mein, we finished all the rice. It was really good. Oh, awesome. And how long have you been coming here? About two years. Two years? Yes. And how often, um, okay, so how often would you say you've been here from Danuba? Um, I just recently moved to Danuba, but I had been here before. It's pretty good. How did you hear about this restaurant? I passed by and I see that it's always full, so I decided to come in and try it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Delicious. It's a long shrimp. Oh my gosh. So Abel got dinner D and I got a dinner G. Dinner G consists of fried rice, sweet and sour pork, chow mein, pan fried noodles, and fried yeah, chicken. Ham. And ham. And ham. And then yours consists of? Fried shrimp, uh, fried rice, noodles, small salad, ham, and sweet and sour pork. Yummy. Okay. Seven bucks. I think seven bucks, right? How much was it? The menu says it. I don't know. Okay. So, let's dig in. Ooh. Cheers, sweet and sour. Cheers. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I got to get mine. Get a good piece. Okay. It's seriously steaming hot. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Cheers. Yay. <sighs> Dang, this is hot. Ooh. Dang, Gina. Really hot. Fresh, freshly made because it's steaming hot, you guys. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it is so good. Hot. I forgot to ask if their sauce was homemade. 
I think they're obviously their sauce is homemade because their sweet and sour doesn't taste like it's different. Different, you know. Definitely not a panda sweetened like sauce. Mm mm. Panda Express. It's better. Okay, this is what I like to do, you guys. <laughs> you guys think it's probably gross, but I like to get my noodles and I like to dip it in the sweet and sour sauce. It is so freaking good. Try it. <laughs> I've never actually, okay, I'm going to be honest. I've never tried their chicken. What? Oh, we always get some sour good. pork. It is good. Check out this chicken, you guys. Oh. You're welcome. Oh, no, so we're wearing matching friend shirt. <laughs> like this or like this? Super Friends. My favorite character on Friends was Rachel and um, Phoebe. Oh my gosh. So I like, I guess I'm kind of more like Phoebe though because I'm like hippie. I have a guitar. I know how to play Smelly Cat on my guitar. <laughs> I shall play that for you one day. I shall. I don't know, Chandler was pretty damn funny. I like Chandler, he was funny. And Joey, he was like dumb funny. Mm -hmm. But Chandler was witty funny. Mm -hmm. Like Chandler was, he's funny because he mm -hmm. said smart ass, well, smart ass things, smart, like, you know. Like witty. Witty stuff. Yeah. And Joey was funny, but he was like, like dumb funny. Yeah. He was funny because he was dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like guy airhead. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But he pulled all the ladies, babe. Seriously though, try the noodles and the sweet and sour sauce. It's freaking amazing. Because I really haven't had a lot of mom and pop's Chinese. Mm -hmm. So, because this one I've had and, you know, I've had Panda and some other little, like, franchises. Oh, like, Arosi used to have the Hong Kong. The chicken is delicious, by the way. Arosi used to have the Hong Kong. And that used to be pretty oh good. Oh my god, yes, Arosi. Yeah, that used to be pretty good. But it's been so long since I've had that. So it's hard for me to judge. But I think this still beats But it. I don't know if that's family owned. Well, yeah, it was a little... It was a little mom pops. It was a gas station restaurant, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um... I don't know, I think this beats it. Just from what I can recall. Yeah. I, remember, I remember being pretty good too, but... That's true. It's been so long, I don't know, it's kind of hard. But I still give it to this one. I'm already getting full. I'm like the last bite. I'm all starting to sweat already. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Dinuba restaurant in the city of Dinuba in downtown Dinuba. It is amazing. Family owned mom and pop. It is delicious. The dinner is always freshly served. Awesome service. If you're dining in awesome fast service. If you're carrying out, I love this restaurant it brings me back to when i was a little girl and like you see in, the, in an interview with tim before it's passed down from generations to generations and the recipe stays the same and there's nothing and the food is still good and now hopefully this little one will probably grow up and your children and about. your future children <laughs> have the opportunity to eat there as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Don't forget, and as well as check the notification bell. I greatly appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. Mwah.